The shame of what happened in these streets is detailed in every newspaper. The grooming of girls as young as 13 is something that shocked people in Haywood. But what's caused almost as much concern is the failure of the authorities to stop this abuse when one of the victims first contacted police. The police and the social services have let these girls down, without a doubt. These girls brought this up 2008 and it was just shunned. It was, no, this girl's not worth listening to. Uh, it'll create racial tension. Let's just let it lie. The police insist race was not a consideration in their investigation, but they and others have accepted that they didn't act quickly enough. Far too late and the council has failed in that respect. Drastically failed. The leader of Rochdale Borough Council fears that there's more still to be uncovered about what happened in this area. I believe there are more victims out there and these activities still continue. And we need that honest debate right across the country with communities. The council says it does have concerns about men targeting girls in children's homes. And the victims in this case were vulnerable. All had been known to social workers at one time. They were lured to takeaways in Haywood using food and alcohol, before being sexually exploited. The gang responsible were jailed today, having been found guilty of a series of offences, including rape and conspiring to have sexual activity with a child. Eight of the men are Pakistani, the other is from Afghanistan. The judge said all of you treated the victims as though they were worthless and beyond any respect. One of the factors leading to that was the fact that they were not part of your community or religion. Out of recent 77 convictions, 67 are Pakistani men. Victims are white. So clearly as a community, we've got a problem. However, some argue it's up to families to take responsibility too. Well, if I had a dog, put it this way, she'd be in bed for seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? But ultimately, if, if they are being sexually exploited, the ones that are responsible are the people that are doing that grooming. Yeah, but uh, it, it takes two to tango. The police insist that grooming is a crime committed by people from all backgrounds. But the government is aware that this is a case that's been overshadowed by the issue of race. The Office of Children's Commissioner is conducting an inquiry into every aspect of child sexual exploitation by groups and gangs. And they're asking some tough questions about the cultural background of some of these criminals. And this case has brought pressure on the police and others to uncover the true extent of the hidden problem of grooming. Chris Buckler, BBC News, Haywood. Well, we're going to talk now to Mark Williams-Thomas, who's um, an expert on child protection, also a former detective uh, in that field. Uh, and uh, thanks very much for being with us. Um, this horrific case, mm -hmm. do you see this as an isolated case or perhaps the tip of an iceberg? No, it's the tip of the iceberg. And to put it into context, I don't think we're even in the boat heading towards the iceberg. It is that big a problem. And of course, we know statistically that child abuse is the most underreported crime. We have very, very vulnerable young girls who are picked upon. And as a result of that, they don't come forward and report. And what we need to do is we need to change, first of all, the way we need to police it. So we need to become proactive rather than reactive. So when someone phones up, victims don't phone up and report abuse. So mm. we need to change the way we police. But more importantly, which is the great value of today's case, is that we need to start engaging and talking about it. There is a significant problem, and, and we know evidentially-wise that Asian Pakistani males are falling into the bracket where they are majority, overwhelming majority, of the offenders. Mm. I mean, we were just hearing in that report from Chris Buckler, this has been a case overshadowed by the issue of race. Um, but is this a problem, do you think, that, that the British-Pakistani community and their leadership perhaps have to try to confront? Absolutely. I mean, the, the problem is, as soon as you start dealing with issues of race, it's hijacked by individuals, and we've got the right-wing organisations hijacking it. What we need to do is say there is an issue here because we're being shown there's an issue because these individuals who are being arrested and prosecuted are from the Asian Pakistani community, overwhelmingly. So what we need to do is get to the communities and say, why is this an issue? Is this an issue that simply is around a race, or are there more cultural issues that sit around this? Is there issues around age of consent? Are there issues around external elements of the community is is it simply the fact that nobody will talk because these are communities are so isolated but unless we accept that there is an issue there then we're never going to get to start to, to mm. deal with the problem and it's all well and good for, for individuals very senior individuals within police service to say this isn't a race issue 
evidence tells us that those members of that community are the offenders predominantly. But, it, but as you mentioned, it is an issue for the police as well, because there's been a lot of criticism that, that they didn't hook on to this particular case early enough uh, when they might have done. They failed. They failed in 2008. They failed a young girl who came forward and wanted to make a complaint. The problem is, is that we know from offenders they will target the most vulnerable, those people who are in children's homes, those people who have run away. And what we need to do as a society is listen to these individuals far more. And we need to change the way we approach it because uh, and certainly within, even in that package we're talking about grooming. Grooming is the process of which offenders, whether it be online or offline, what we're talking about here is the sexual trafficking of children for gain. And these are girls that are being trafficked around the whole of the UK, and this isn't just predominantly in the north of England, like this case in Rochdale. Mm. This is happening in every major city, right. and has been happening for years. Well, thank you very much indeed. Very sobering analysis, but uh, thanks for coming in. That's Mark Williams-Tom.